Guys, yeah, so I'm back at again of the collective misses of the day. As you know, I am on my walk, walking to go to the lake so I can clear my mind, cleanse my soul, and cleanse these illusions that's trying to get onto me. And as I'm walking, my spirit just keeps telling me about like, Pinky, you create the intent. The sun is coming as I say this. You know, you create the intent and you create the feeling, but you create the intent behind the feeling. So if you want to be happy, be happy. I have emptied, emptied. You know, emptied you of anything and everything that was holding you back. So at this time, why are you still allowing old things and past, past, I don't even want to say past relationships as much as it's like past energies get to you when you've already transformed that. And to me, it was like God telling me that I still haven't validated myself enough because I don't like listening to the truth because it's just like, okay, I listen to the truth enough. How much longer do I have to keep listening to this until I have to get what I want? And it's like, I'm still not understanding. I have everything that I want the minute that I release control and understand that I don't have to work so hard. I can just let it flow to me. I can just ask God for what I want. I can just tell him how I need it to be done. And then he tells me the steps that it takes to get to where I want. It's going to take some time. <laughs> It's going to take consistent work. It's going to take committal energy. It's going to take you getting up and keeping to do it, even if it's 30 days, even if it's two months, even if it's two years. It's going to take you to be committed to this process of you getting what you want, but slowly but surely. <laughs> slow and steady runs the race, remember? So you have to know how to be slow. You have to know how to be steady. You have to know how to be consistent. You have to know that you have to keep your faith if you want anything to happen to you you have to keep your faith you have to keep your faith no matter what and it's like a lot of us are forgetting that this journey is about faith this journey is about having confidence within your faith having confidence that god is going to come through for you having confidence that you're deserving of anything that you want so why wouldn't it work out for me having confidence in the fact that my mind my body my soul said i should do this and i did it and it caused a chain reaction within this whole atmosphere that we're in to work for me y'all hear that baby crying <laughs> confirmations after confirmations i love you lord just trust yourself this is the best advice I can give you. Trust yourself, love yourself, and see yourself. Everything will be okay. Bye, y'all.